Good morning, lovelies, and welcome to the Feederbrook Farm Trunk Show. What I'm showing you here is our contact info. If there's anything that you see here today that you must have, and I'm sure there will be something, please give us a call at 410-662-9276. Or you can contact us on our email at lovelyyarns at gmail.com. L-O-V-E-L-Y-A-R-N-S at gmail.com. Also, you can shop our web store, lovelyyarns.com slash shop. So let's get to the show. See, I'm wearing my uh, rubber gloves today. So here we are. Lisa Westra, who is the brilliance behind Feederbrook Farms, has brought us some fiber for spinning. We have some undyed natural white and uh, natural gray, which is really like a soft brown, blue face luster. We also have some natural white and dyed teal Cory Dale. Cory Dale is one of the oldest mixed breeds of sheep. It is a cross between uh, Merino and Lincoln Long Wool, I believe. And then also we have some dyed Merino. We have Aqua and pink and tanzanite. This really is more of a purple. I know it's showing sort of like a blue on our video, but in real life it is more of a deep violet than it is a deep blue. So think of like a tanzanite stone and how that's a deep blue violet. And that is the color of this awesome stuff. And then we have this awesome persimmony orange, mustardy yellow, and this cool olive green. Now all of the dyed fiber, with the exception of this teal, that's all merino. And it's all really soft. I can even tell how soft it is through the latex gloves. I'm not sure of the micron count. Usually merino has a staple length of 2.75 inches. Um, <clears throat> so I think we can safely assume that it's at least that long. BFL is a little longer, closer to four inches. And we have details on the Corydale on our website. I don't remember how long the staple length is, but it is lovely and it is a spinner favorite. All of this stuff should draft really well and be fun and easy to work with from beginners to spinners with more experience. And then continuing on, we have sort of this um, fawn gray brown uh, dyed merino, sort of like a pecan color. We have a dark cranberry and I also have like a sunny golden yellow. And then I have a whole basket full of the undyed BFL and it's natural gray brown color. Above the blue face Lester is we have a new base from Feederbrook Farm. This is her Entropy C cell. So this base is blue face Lester wool which she is hand, which Lisa has hand dyed, combined with sea cell. Sea cell comes from sea kelp, from seaweed, and it's a cellulose-based fiber, and it has a feel similar to silk. Look how beautiful these colors are. Uh, some of the labels have their colorway names on them, and some do not. I will do my best to post the colorway names with images of the individual skeins on our website. But you could say, oh, the blue one, the purple one, the yellow one, the pink one. I believe the pink one is critical mass, looks like it. So all of Lisa's yarns all do a gradient. All of the colors uh, grade from one colorway to another, or rather from like one color to, the colorways go from one color to another. They do a very long color repeat and they're really beautiful. Even though she has many skeins, which are the same colorway, uh, each individual skein is its own thing. So if you're making a sweater, you may want to alternate rows or sort of line up how the gradient flows, but it looks amazing. Lisa recently got a mill and she's been spinning and plying all of these herself at home on her newly purchased mill. Now this red one, I believe is specific heat, I think. Watch, I'm probably wrong, and she'll send me a message. <laughs> this is beautiful. Look at this paleness, and you can see the shininess of the sea cell coming through. 
This one looks like her absolute zero colorway, sort of pale with icy blues. Next to it, we have Isotope, which is this blue gray. And the thing I love about Lisa's gradients um, is the surprising color changes. Like there's always like a sort of like a surprise color, which I love, but you can see there are contrasts between the different colors. I'll pause this here. And this makes this yarn great for doing brioche knitting. Cause imagine if you had two highly contrasting, uh, gradient colorways and how those would work together. You get really beautiful and dramatic effect. This stuff also works well in other types of color work from mosaic to stranded and intarsia. Anything that you can imagine. Sky is the limit. They're so pretty. Let's get close up and see so you can see the shine. The colorways on the sea cell blend are going to come out slightly more muted than on her regular uh, blue face Lester blends, which are 100% BFL. The BFL, when it takes dye, it, the colors come out uh, very bright. And the sea cell sort of um, <clears throat> tempers that. See, here's the specific heat. See, it's sort of like different shades of red. So lovely. This one is Jewel. All her stuff is science related because, you know, she calls this line um, entropy because it's, you know, always like a, a guess, like something unexpected with how the color or how the colors flow from one to the next. Aren't they just lovely? And this one, which is turquoise and orange. This is one of my favorites. This is oxidation. Look how pretty. Look at that. So lustrous. And this is brand new. Also, these are only $28 a skein. That is it. For Blue Face Lester with C cell, you get a 100 gram hank has 260 yards and the spinning and plying is very well balanced. These are worsted spun, which is slightly different from woolen spun. Woolen spun yarns are a little loftier and they have a little more uh, wabi-sabi that's like unevenness. Look at this gorgeous color. It's insane. Look at that. You know you want to take that home. Uh, this feels a little finer than her regular Entropy DK. I know she suggests a size 6 needle. I would say you could use anywhere from a 4 to a 6. This feels like a light DK because of the nature of the C-cell. See how fine that is? Look how beautiful. It's so lustrous. Just can't get enough. And it's hard to tell what the gradient looks like when it's skeined up in this twist. But I am sure you, like, they're all incredible. Uh, I've been knitting and using her yarn and weaving with her yarns for a few years now. And I love every single one I get. I just, I cannot get enough. I know you won't be disappointed. Now, these are her classic Entropy DKs. Some of you might have seen Lisa at Homespun Yarn Party, which was online last Sunday. Um, some of you maybe have met Lisa in the past at Maryland Sheep and Wool, which sadly is canceled this year. However, we have the next best thing. We have her yarns in our store. And every single colorway will be presented on our website. And it'll give you information about suggested needle size. And... Uh, <clears throat> what the feel of the yarn is like. Unfortunately, I don't have samples with everything uh, knitted up, so I don't know how every single colorway is gonna move. But I mean, look at that pink, that's insane. Look how beautiful these are. So this is 100% BFL. See how it is slightly different from the sea cell It still is lustrous, but the shine is a little different. Here's the comparison you can see next to each other. Actually, we can get one that is closer. There we go. Closer in colorway, but you can see the sea cell is a little shinier than the 100% blue face luster. And her regular Entropy DK, this is a worsted spun, so it's very even and balanced.
Um, it has a really lovely hand. It feels so soft. Blue Face Lester does not pill like Merino. You know, sometimes you knit a Merino sweater and then you find out it's all pilly and that can be really frustrating. And that won't happen to you with BFL. So, oh, I'm sorry, I keep moving the phone. Let's look at these colors, it's so beautiful. So this on the end, um, so lovely, so pale. And then they've oranges and purples. And then these pale beige yellows. This looks like more of my, oh, I don't know if that's oxidation or not. That's one of her retail colorways. It says OP on it. She has them coated. I'll have to find my um, Theater Book Farm code cipher later so I can get accurate colorway names. This is the specific heat, another one of my favorites because I love reds and oranges. Just look at that, it's so pretty. And you see with the marl, it makes the color changes really gradual and very natural looking. Here we go. Here's some more close-ups of this Entropy DK. And I'll post photos on our Facebook page too. And you can screen cap and circle the colorways that you would like. Uh, of the Entropy DK, I have five skeins of each colorway. Each skein is only $28. And you get 100 grams is 260 yards, 100% blue face luster wool. So pretty. I love the greens and purples. It's so awesome. I just, I can't get enough of her yarn. Every time it comes in the store, it just blows out of here so fast. And this with the purple and the blue. I know some of you are huge purple and blue fans and will want some of this. Remember, I only have five skeins, which would be just enough to get a top. Although, of course, because these are all gradients, you can make a gradient, make a fade of gradient yarns and you could do all different colors and blend them together to make your top. Now this is a DK weight, so that's like size four to six needles. Uh, Elisa recommends using a size, si a size six. And you can see this BFL is a little fuller, a little puffier than the BFL C-cell combo. So I think a size six would look great. Then again, that always depends on your personal gauge. If you're a looser knitter, maybe you want to use, or crocheter, you probably want to use a smaller hook or needle. And if you work more tightly, then you'll want to go up a size, maybe even a size seven. But holy cow, look at these colors. Like that's intense. And this is flashpoint. Look at this. So bright. And then next to these blues, super awesome. And of course, you know, orange and blue always look so dramatic next to one another because they're complementary colors, meaning they're opposites on the color wheel. And now, last but not least, <clears throat> we have Lisa's new woolen spun. These she spun on her mill. Now, woolen spun is gonna be loftier and have a slightly different hand. Uh, it has a slightly, it's poofier. So you would use a slightly bigger needle. I might even go up to a size seven, depending. But again, these all do gradients and the woolens, these are only $25 per skein. What? 25 bucks per skein. So that means you could get enough yarn to make a hand dyed sweater out of this stuff for easily under 150 bucks. Like that's pretty fabulous. Look at these colors, super intense. Sorry about the shadows, folks. We've got the overhead lights on. I tried to turn them off, but then it was like too dark. Usually with the lights off, the, the colors are a little truer. Um, I took a ton of photos. Did she put colorway names on these? Codes, we've got codes. We'll have to decode later, but look how awesome it is. And you can always freeze frame and circle on your phone and tell me, I want this. 
And remember, all this stuff is going to be live on our website tomorrow. I'm going to turn on the web shopping for the trunk show tomorrow. So today you get first dibs when you call or email us 410-662-9276. Here's this absolute zero <laughs> little veg matter, but it's so lovely. So if we take this, you put this absolute zero next to the regular entropy worsted spun, we can see a difference here. Let's put this here. You can see how the woolen is a little puffier than the entropy. Interesting, huh? And I'm sure there's some more of the darker blue inside of this skein. See, there it is. It's just how it got twisted up. And remember, this is going to do a gradient. So we'll do a slow change from the light to the dark to this purple. So pretty. And then if we look at the similar colorway on the sea cell, so here we have entropy. So the entropy and the woolen, these are 100% blue face luster. And then the C cell is BFL with C cell in it. Look at that, see? You can really see the difference in the sheen, especially next to the woolen. Isn't that cool? Don't forget, the woolen is only 25. The entropy, 100% blue face luster and the C cell are only 28. That's a crazy good deal for hand dyed yarn. Now Lisa lives in Northern Baltimore County on her farm and she has all different sheep. And last time I was up at her farm, she had um, a testy alpaca and she's got of course chickens and dogs and cats. Uh, and she does a sheep study at her farm. Now we were scheduled to go do a farm visit on May 17th so we could see some of the baby lambs but it's not looking like that's gonna happen. Hopefully, we can, when we reschedule for another farm visit, um, there will be some babies in residence, but it's always fun to go up and see all the different sheep and learn about all the different fibers from Lisa herself. She's so knowledgeable. You know, she's been doing um, hand dyeing and spinning yarn, you know, for a very long time. There we go. This green, holy cow, look at that. It looks so awesome with that bright pink. And I guess this is X, that's the X, X factor? I forget. I have to look it up. I know, I should have done more homework. <laughs> Sorry. But this blue purple at the top, or this blue green violet at the top, that's going to be amazing. Just look at that. Like, I want to get close so you can really see the colors. So pretty. And then the neutrals next to it, I really like these two. And there's five of each of these colorways. So that's the same color. These are both the same colorway. These are both the same colorway. This one is gravity, this red, so cool. It's like super intense. And you know, as intense the colors look on the regular entropy on the woolen, they're super bright. This looks amazing. And then this one is Flashpoint. I think it's wild how this See, look, there's that bright yellow orange on the flash point. See how it twists, it's gonna come out different than this flash point. But see, it's the same, same colorway. They're just spun differently. So this is the regular entropy, and then this one is the woolen. But it's the same colorway. How cool is that? So yeah, so just call us, 410-662-9276, and let us know what you would like to have. Remember, there's five skeins of each colorway of the woolens and the Entropy DK. The number of skeins of the colorways for the um, C-cell are going to vary 
from like three to more than three. <laughs> but if you give me a call, I'm happy to FaceTime the show to you. So let's pan out so you can see the whole collection. So we've got woolens are over here. And then the entropy is over here. The woolens also are a DK weight, but it is a little poofier. So you could go up to a seven or eight needle depending on your personal gauge. And these are all the C cell colorways. So pretty. So, you know, the uh, shift patterns from Andrea Matt, and this is all of the fiber undyed and dyed. And I have duplicates of the Entropy DK sitting here in the baskets. Looks like candy. But see, look, see them all together. Like you could totally make a garment and combine different colorways. I mean, why not? The colors are so pretty. Why should you decide on only one? And then we'll step back so you can see more of this pretty fiber. Ooh, we'll put these away. It's a shame we're closed to the public and you can't come and squish these in person because you will die. It's so soft, like clouds, like fluffy clouds. And the great thing about getting um, the solid colors of the spinning fiber, if you have a blending board or if you like to, um, you know, spin from the fold, uh, you can blend colors and sort of, you know, make your own. Pretty cool, eh? And the fiber for all, the price for all of the fiber is $3 per ounce or 45 for a pound. The regular entropy is only $28. The woolen spun only 25 and the sea cell is also 28. And again, here is our contact info. And we are available for free shipping we do free local pickup, free local delivery. You can call us, email us. You can send us a Facebook message. You can shop with us online at lovelyyarns.com slash shop. Lovely Yarns is all one word, one Y. Thanks for shopping.